So in this video, I want to talk about the glue up, the thing that stresses me out the most. Okay, so earlier today, I glued up uh, this board here, and um, this is going to be a a board for a game and um, you'll, you'll see a video on that next but um, you know in, in gluing up stuff a lot of times I don't prepare myself enough and uh, when I had my cabinet shop we had a glue station and uh, it was always the same like you had the face frames you glue them up uh, you had a certain procedure that you did so it was it was relatively stress-free after a while and it was repetitive so the same thing all the time but in my own shop, I have a bunch of different things to glue up. And even though this is a relatively simple glue up, I know ways to make it easier on myself, but um, I, I tend to forget to do them. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, go through this first one that I glued up, and, and I'll speed that up a little bit, and narrate you through some of the mistakes that I made. And then we'll come back here and I'll talk about how I'm going to correct those. Okay, so right away to begin with, I'm laying down glue and I'm not going to put enough on there number one and number two I really don't have anything set up to spread it out so I have to leave the room to actually go find a key card from the last time I stayed in the hotel because I generally use those to spread out the glue so you can see that the glue is sitting here and it's starting to dry which is really uh, ill prepared of me that's for sure now as I'm using this card I'm finding out that because the wood is not sitting down perfectly flat uh, the card is not spreading out amongst all the other pieces there so that uh, that was an issue and I also needed a lot more glue than what I had I decided to try a foam brush which was totally disastrous because the glue was dry enough to where it was just messing up the brush so I had to go back to the card Okay, so I finally got the glue spread and starting to put the boards together. And I end up with quite a bit of glue on uh, all the boards. So there's definitely going to be a good bond, but there's also going to be a lot of glue squeezed out on this particular one. And you can see that the glue is actually sticking to two of the boards as I'm trying to pull them apart and put them together. Now, the other thing is I have to walk away again here because I don't have any type of wet rag down there. I should have a wet rag on the counter, but I don't, so I have to go over there. Fortunately, I do have a sink right there so that uh, that worked out. I actually have to use the wooden piece of the clamp to tap in the edges straight. Now I don't really have anything outside of the other parts of these clamps to um, level up the edges and uh, that was again a mistake on my part. And now I'm assembling the clamps to the proper width. Now of course these clamps have to be set apart because um, you know all this wood is, is apart to apply the glue so I really can't um, get these clamps set up ahead of time to the proper distance. So now comes the issue that I'm going to have with all of these uh, Betsy clamps is that they have a couple little pieces that uh, separate um, the wood off of the metal so that the glue doesn't rest on the metal and get in there and I don't have any of those in the right location so I have to sort of take time to adjust those out and, um, and then set the clamps to the proper size so I should have done all of this ahead of time and I think I even have uh, one or two clamps still set up in the racks that I'll have to go get here in a minute. Here I decided to try and put a clamp underneath the board and um, that was kind of kind of challenging but uh, eventually I got underneath there and got that all set up so I don't know that I needed it with these particular clamps. I, I don't think that I have to come from both sides, especially with the uh, two compression clamps that I have on each side. But uh, that's what I had done. Finally, I had to go back over to the clamping wall and uh, pull down just some regular bar clamps and put those across. And uh, those went rather smooth, even though they weren't set up to the right size. Uh, I still got it clamped in together, so I made sure I got all of the glue squeeze out that I could get because um, I did have uh, kind of a, a messy glue up to say the least. 
All right, so you can see that was uh, that was pretty much messed up quite a bit. And um, so I'll go over some of the stuff that um, I should have done in the first one. And and I know better, and that's the problem. But when you uh, don't do everything every day and you, you just forget things and you think that it's a simple glue up and you don't worry about things, but you should always try to be as prepared as possible when you glue up something. Now, the first thing is a glue selection. And here I have, I use Type Bond 2. Um, I like Type Bond 2. I mean, you can use the original Type Bond. They're about the same. This is a little bit more waterproof. And if you need to build stuff for the outside, you can get Type Bond 3, which is, um, you know, waterproof exterior. exterior. This one is somewhat, but uh, this is actually the best for that. And you see, I only have one of these, um, what is it, uh, 16 ounce bottles of the Type Bond 3 because uh, I don't use it that often. Now, the Type Bond 2 and the extended Type Bond 2, the nice thing about extended is it gives you more working time. So uh, if you're doing a complicated glue up, uh, this is the thing to use. A lot of times when I glue up like uh, 48 pieces, um, for a segmented bowl or something like that, I will use this glue right here because it just gives me a little extra time. On something like this, I should finish fast enough to uh, actually use just the Type Bond 2. But as you saw in the other video, uh, it actually was starting to set up because it took me so long to spread everything on here. Now, one of the things I did wrong in that other video was the way that I spread the glue. And uh, I just used a card, which Every time, I, oh, I forgot to clean this. So every time I go stay at a, a hotel or something, I always keep the cards. Uh, they're nice and thick, and they make really good glue spreaders, and after a while, you can just throw them away. But um, on something like this, you're going to have uneven surface. So the card's going to be, you saw that I had a difficult time spreading the glue on that. So in this case, I'm going to use a roller. And I should have used that in the first place. Now, on the small roller, the only thing that I have is a foam roller here and I should use the regular paint roller and I'll get some more of those uh, when I go to uh, Lowe's tomorrow but for right now this is what I have so this is what I'm going to use tonight. Uh, this should allow me to roll the glue a little bit easier and go over this rough or uneven surface much much easier. I also set up uh, so I have a hammer so I can tap in the ends if I need to. You saw a couple times it's hitting there pretty hard so uh, this is going to help so I need to have this close, close at hand and um, the one thing that I always, almost always do, and especially I find this when I, when I get on camera, is that I don't open up my glue bottle. And sometimes it's kind of difficult, like right now. Okay, this one I was able to get to. But sometimes it's so hard that I have to uh, stop what I'm doing and run on over to my tool cabinet and get a pair of pliers and pop this open. And the other thing you want to do is clean out the inside here, uh, this opening. Now. Even when you close it, you end up getting some, some glue stuck in there. You want that opening to be as cleaned out as possible so that the most glue can come out of there. Now, another thing you do is you can put it in a, in a different glue bottle. A lot of times I use the mustard bottles, and um, uh, those work pretty good. And the glue spreads out, comes out pretty fast. Let me grab one and show you that. But it's these bottles right here, and uh, they're just what mustard comes in. You can get a larger one if you like. Um, but I find that the opening just seems to allow the glue to come out pretty quick and it very seldom uh, gets clogged up like these do. So this actually works quite well. So most of the time I'd be using this, but on a larger thing like this, I'm, I'm going to use uh, this one because this happens to be filled up a little bit more. Now, the other thing too is setting up your clamps. And I like using these clamps for, and you, you could see the other video I put on them right up here, but uh, I like these clamps because they automatically press down on top as they push in from the sides there and it evens up everything. And then you can go and, and finish off with other clamps. Now I actually have two more of these that I need to put together and cut out the pieces for, but right now I just have these two. And to prevent the glue from sticking on the bottom here, you, um, I put a finish on this, but it doesn't seem to work as well. I mean, I just put some oil on it, which helps keep the glue. But I found that if I take packing tape and I put packing tape along this edge and then fold it down, that that actually works quite well and the glue doesn't stick to that. And these pop off real, real easy. So um, that's just a little hint there. Now, you wanna set them up to the size that you're gonna need them, but in this case, these are flat, so I have to put the glue on first, then roll them up, and then I will adjust that. And these are relatively easy to adjust to the width that I need. But one of the things that, um, I don't know if you noticed on the other video, and I think I pointed it out, but all these Bessies have these little spacers right here. 
uh, that, that keep the, you know, sit on the wood and keep them propped up a little bit off of these metal pieces here. And I, <clears throat> the first time around, I didn't have them adjusted to the right spot. I had them all the way down here and I had to press them up. But some of them are kind of difficult to move across there and it takes some time. And uh, also, you know, you want to get it close to the size opening that you're going to have. So in this case, that's about the size that I'm going to need, and that's thanks to the other one I glued up that gave me all those sizes. So right now, I have all of my clamps over here, and they're set to the size that I need. So hopefully I can just be able to put them right on and clamp, and that's going to save me some time. Now, one of the things I did that was really bad last time is that after I was working with the uh, card and the glued-in spread right, um, then I started trying to use a foam brush and that didn't work because the glue was already starting to dry a little bit here and uh, you know it was getting sticky and so as I drug the brush across it was actually ripping the brush part so I didn't I wasn't able to use that very quickly or very much on that last one um, the last thing is uh, you know a glue scraper and I have a set of these here I think these were like from Harbor Freight or something like that this might have been a Rockler thing I'm not sure but uh, they weren't too much and um, they last quite a while and most of the time when you want to scrape the glue you want to glue it up um, let it sit in the clamps for about an hour hour and a half is what i do and i take them on the clamp and i scrape them and, and a lot of times where the glue i let the glue beat up and i just leave it alone on most things sometimes i do clean them off uh, depending on what I'm, I'm working on but on something like this i just leave it alone because it's all going to be surfaced in the end anyway but i do want to get off the bigger clumps of glue so after about an hour hour and a half in the clamps i pull them out and I just scrape all the tops and, and you'll find that uh, some of the glue is still uh, wet and uh, uh, sort of soft and it's real easy to scrape off then. Uh, you could wait till it gets completely hard uh, the next day and then scrape it off. Um, I've done that too and that works. Sometimes it pulls up pieces on the wood. So um, I try to get it when it's in soft mode. After all of that, I'm going to go ahead and film this time on gluing it up um, with everything set up and hopefully this will go much faster and less stressful. So let's see if that works. Okay, so I have to say that, that was a lot less stressful gluing up the second board as opposed to the first. Um, the other thing I noticed that there's a lot less glue squeeze out. Uh, there was still plenty of glue to make a nice bond. There was some squeeze out, but nothing like there was on this board here. Uh, I did forget one to do one thing. I forgot to wet a rag and have that hold close to hand. So just a paper towel there. Um, and that's why I took off over the sink. Fortunately, I have a sink right there, so it's relatively close. But yeah, uh, getting everything lined up and set to go really worked well. This actually, the foam actually worked pretty good. I had to add some glue to it uh, because it was pretty dry. So it was soaking up the glue when I first rolled over. But once I got enough glue on it, uh, it rolled out and spread the glue nice and even across everything. Um, really made it much, much easier to, to glue up everything. So hopefully that, that helps you out. If you do like information like this, please do uh, subscribe and hit that bell so you know when I have new videos out, but um, I try to do one a week. I don't always, uh, it doesn't always work out that way, but uh, I try to I try to get out one a week. But I enjoyed that. Hopefully some of my ideas will help you on your glue up and make it less stress for you when you're uh, putting it all together and uh, a little bit easier, which is uh, always the big thing. But anytime you do a glue up, 
you got a lot of moving parts and a short period of time to get it all done. So uh, planning is really key and it does does help out. So I think uh, this one I did in five, five or six minutes less time than I did this one. So uh, that was quite a big difference having that glue sitting there in the open uh, that much longer on the first one as compared to the second one. So thanks for watching and um, hopefully you'll see me in another video very soon.